Hello ladies and maybe some gentlemen. I am doing a quick video feature on exfoliation. Exfoliate, exfoliate, exfoliate. Um, we talk so much about our skincare. We talk so much about our makeup. And one of the things I feel that I don't talk about enough is the importance of exfoliation. Now, I do it enough, I do it all the time, I exfoliate three times a week, but I want to make sure that I'm explaining why we need to exfoliate, in addition to our cleansers, serums, and moisturizers. So, just to, I guess, explain at the normal process of the skin cells on our face, um, when we're younger, our skin cells turn over very quickly. The life cycle of them is kind of short, you know, they just, new ones are popping up all the time. Um, we shed the old, the new is there. I want you to think about a baby or a toddler or a young child. Um, you know how you can just pinch their cheeks and they just almost bounce back. Same thing with their arms, you know, just the skin just bounces back. It's because that skin is new. Um, the cells are new, which makes them elastic. It makes them, you know, just really plump and healthy and glowing. I mean, I, I think about, you know, little beautiful little children's faces all the time. Um, even, you know, up through in your 20s. I know, you know, some of us have that phase of acne. Some of us still struggle with uh, acne. Um, but for the most part, you know, skin in your, in your 20s, it's, it's got a glow to it. It's, it's more youthful. It's the, the tone is more even. Um, it's more um, elastic. There's less fine. There's the fine lines and the wrinkles are not there. Let's put it that way. And we don't have that uneven, like as much uneven skin tone of some redness, some darkness and all that going on. Once we get in our like 30s, uh, even late 20s, early 30s, like the cycle of those skin cells slows down. So that means the skin cells on the surface of our face, they're hanging out there a little bit longer. You know, they're just not, they're not buffing off and new ones are not coming through as quickly. It's just a slower, you know, a lot of things tend to slow down uh, and our skin cells are no different. So that means the cells on our face that have been exposed to more of the old stuff in the air, the free radicals, the pollutants, um, you know, just how we've been treating our face, you know, if you're not cleansing it well, if you got a bit of leftover makeup left on, whatever. Sun damage is a huge one. Um, wind burn, all that kind of stuff, damages the cells that are on the surface of the skin. And, you know, they get drier, they're not as elastic, they get dull because they're old, they're hanging out too long, um, that gives them a discoloration. So some of them are darker than others, some of them have that bit of redness, and heck, we see those fine lines in them, the, the, the creppiness to it and all that. It's because they're old and they need to go. We can You can put all the beautiful serum on it and all the nice moisturizer and they're dry and all that. It's because it's dehydrated, it's a dead skin cell, it's old, it's got to get out of here. Because nature doesn't do that as quickly as we would like, that's where an exfoliator comes into play. So an exfoliator, two to three times a week, makes sure that those old cells are getting out of here and the new ones are coming through. The new ones will give you more of a glow, more of elasticity, less fine lines, wrinkles, less discoloration, all that stuff. So we want new, the, the newer, the better when it comes to the skin cells on our face. We have three different types of exfoliators in our Mary Kay line, and I wanna briefly show them to you uh, and how you would use each one. So the first one is our Microdermabrasion Refine, and this is a physical exfoliator. So you would squeeze out like a pea-sized amount, say like that much there, would do your whole face. You wet your face, take that pea size amount, and you're gonna rub it into your face and it's gonna feel like sand, it's rough. And the whole purpose of it being rough is that it's actually scrubbing off those surface cells. So it's giving them a nice buff, 
you're going to, you know, do your whole face with that. Um, massage it in with your fingertips, kind of, you know, and all those areas. Make sure you're covering every bit of your face with it. And then give your face a rinse off. And, oh, my God, just take your hand then and go like this. And you're going to feel like you've been given a brand new face. That's the difference that you will feel immediately. You start, once you do that, you take off those old surface, those that old dead, dull skin off the surface of your face. You're immediately going to see more radiance. And because that old dead layer is gone, your nice serums like your vitamin C plus E, whatever you're using, your advanced lifting serum, all that goodness that you're putting back on your face can now really be absorbed into your skin because it doesn't have that old barrier of dead skin blocking its way from getting in and doing its job. So that's the microderm. Again, you would start off just a couple times a week. will make a world of difference for you. Another milder exfoliant, because some people are maybe too sensitive. They maybe got rosacea. they are really got to be careful about how rough they are with their skin. Uh, another great option for you then is our Mary Kay Naturally. And this is my tester our naturally exfoliating powder. This is also a, chem a physical exfoliator. It is a powder. Um, you shake it out. I just usually put about that much out, like, you know, the size of a uh, maybe a nickel or a quarter even, you could sprinkle out there. And then you have two options with this one. Uh, you can go under your tap and you can just run your tap and take a couple of drops of water and just wet that and scrub it and create a paste for yourself from the water. It's a finer granulation than what's in the microdermabrasion, but it still has a little bit of grit that you would still be able to exfoliate with. Um, more water will make it less gritty. Uh, less water will make it more gritty. you would be able to figure out um, what works for you. It's 100% natural uh, and it's beautiful, especially if you're nervous, uh, if you're really, really sensitive and you're nervous about trying um, a stronger exfoliant. This is an excellent way to start uh, super gentle. Another option with this, which is my favorite way, is to mix it with the naturally nourishing oil. So the nourishing oil, again, is 100% natural. And what you would do is rather than adding your drops of water, you would just take this and do maybe two drops and mix her up. And then you just got this beautiful, um, beautiful light scrub for your face that is 100% natural. Um, very, very uh, popular for people with sensitive skin, for people with rosacea. And really just people who are more into natural um, in general. I'm going to go, I'm going to pause this video really quickly, go wash my hands off because I got a lot of stuff on them here. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you my favorite exfoliator. I'm back. And finally, last but not least, my very favorite exfoliator and the one I use three times a week is the TimeWise Repair. Revealing Radiance Facial Peel. You've probably seen me feature this before. Um, lots of times I say I'm having a glycolic acid treatment uh, in my own home and because that's what the key ingredient in this one is. It's glycolic acid. Uh, it's called a, a Revealing fa Radiance Peel, but you don't actually peel. It's just called a peel because the chemical peels off those layers. There's no really peeling, but it, you know, it's, it's just chemicals that will remove the surface layer of the cells. So you're not physically scrubbing them off like the other two exfoliators that I showed you. So this comes out like a lotion. There's no grit in this at all. It's just like a moisturizer is how it looks and feels. And what you would do is you would, after you clean your face, you take, um, you know, a couple of pumps of that and you spread an even layer of it all over your face. It won't, it doesn't absorb in like the way a moisturizer does. It kind of sits on the surface of your face like this. You may immediately feel some light tingling and that's good. 
that's um, I mean I don't feel a tingle anymore because I use it so much my skin's adjusted to it but you put it on and you may feel your skin tingle a little that's the glycolic acid actually breaking up those surface skin cells so how this one works you don't scrub it there's nothing rough in it this is not a physical exfoliator it's called a chemical exfoliator and the chemicals uh, if you think about the cells on your face, um, the first few layers of your cells, I, I always think about bricks being stacked up on top of each other. And what these chemicals do is they kind of sit on the face and they break up. It's like they would break up the cement that would hold the bricks together. So they're breaking up all that cement and making the bricks really easy to fall off. So I think about the skin cells as being those bricks. So we put that glycolic acid on, we leave it for 10 minutes. That's it, just the 10 minutes. And then you go, and so all the while they've been breaking up those bonds that, that kind of keep those surface cells. And this, this is the deepest level of exfoliation. So it's going down a few layers deep. And what it does then, you just, you know, when you get a warm face cloth and you wash your face off with the face cloth, you will again, oh my God, it's just like you've been given a brand new face. Wash your, uh, wet your face cut again, give your face a good wash, make sure it's all off, don't get any in your eyes, you don't want it on your lips. Um, and oh my God, the glow and the feeling of your face is amazing. You will want to grab your booster and your serum then immediately and put them on this brand new face. You will just, you will instantly feel it. You will feel, you'll feel firm, you'll feel, just is, a, is an amazing, incredible feeling. Um, and again, 10 minutes, this bottle does you a long time. It's the our Cadillac line of an exfoliator, the deepest level, part of the time wash repair uh, lineup, and uh, two to three times a week, girlfriend, and you have yourself, um, a new face really with this so uh, also a bonus with this great if you have large pores great if you get a scatter pimple you got a bit of acne and um, uneven texture uh, because removing those surface skin cells and this is true for the other ones as well by removing those skin cells you're unclogging your pores uh, which causes them to appear more uh, tighter and less visible and gives you a more polished look so almost a more of an airbrush look. So that's another perk of exfoliation. It just makes the surface of your skin look so beautiful when you go and you put on your foundation and all that. So I hope you found that helpful. Three, three amazing exfoliating options. Doesn't matter which one you choose, as long as you're choosing to exfoliate. Super important. Don't spend any more money on serums or boosters or fancy uh, day and night creams if you're not purchasing an exfoliator because they're not even being able to do the job that you're hoping them to do. If you have any questions about any of them, shoot me a message and I would love to give you uh, that information. Thank you. See ya.